Aw, poor Mayrin. Am I really the only one who wants to give her a hug? Really? Aw. Pokemon Ranger, I choose you! What's up my dear boys and girls, it's your Ranger Boy here and welcome to another review of the Pokemon X, Y and Z anime. Today guys, it's getting really emotional with episode 36, fierce fighting at the Carlos League, gather all my passion. And first of all, I'm really sorry for uploading my review this late, but unfortunately this week's episode really was dialogue heavy as hell. And that's why I wanted to wait for the subs to come out so that I won't risk on making any misinterpretations. Also guys, there were a lot of complaints and beef in my last crack video and I just wanted to tell you guys that it's totally okay if you didn't like my last crack video because Critique is there to let the content creator improve his content. I'm a mature guy, so no need to worry about me guys. I can handle it. It's not like I'm sitting in front of my PC and start crying out of frustration. Oh, wrong timing long. So without any hesitation, let's go raw. Stop that long. You know people hate team stuff. Do a different intro. But I always use that. Just do it. Okay, okay, fine. Well, how about this? Let's start the review! So after watching a summary of last week's episode, we are seeing Ash healing up his Pokemon at the Pokemon Center and after Nurse Joy wishes him good luck, Clemens and Barney's dad Maya decides to visit them and celebrate with the XY gang and Shota by giving them some delicious Lumius Gallets. But don't think that Maya is a good guy for doing that because in fact Clembot, who was visiting the gang as well, actually was the one who bought these delicious sweets and he won't allow Maya to earn all the praise for himself. So now the XY gang is enjoying the lunch and wait, oh my god, why isn't Ash sitting next to Serena and why is Shota sitting next to Serena? Oh my god, Amosha Big is dead and I'm totally triggered! But jokes aside guys, because there's an important thing I have to address. How the heck is Luxray not triggered by Chespin? Because it seems like that Chespin has not won but two Lumios Gallets in his possession while Luxray has none. And speaking of Chespin, it seems like that Chespin, despite already having two Gallets, wants a third one as well. And of course, it has to fight with its eternal rival Pancham for that last remaining one. But unfortunately, the Gallet decides to keep rolling, rolling, rolling away, and now Pancham and Chespin have to search for it. And unlike Pancham, Chespin later on finds its beloved candy. But we all know, we all know how Chespin's luck is when it comes to things it loves so much. Zing! And the only thing left for Chespin is a broken heart. And while the rest of the gang is searching for Pancham and Chespin, the heartbroken Pokemon runs into Mayren! Yay! Mayren is back! Yay! And of course, since Chespin reminds her of her beloved partner Chespi, she had to help Chespin out. And thanks to Tiano's gang, Chespin and Clement were reunited. Seeing this lovely reunion of Chespin and Clement, Mayren couldn't help it but to think about her partner as well and then of course she starts crying and I really wanted to give her a hug so bad I, I mean come on guys who wouldn't want to give her a hug but no time for that since Mayrin later on starts to talk about her partner Chespi and that it's currently recovering in Lisano's lap but suddenly Professor Sycamore appears and of course recognizes Mayrin immediately and thought that she was here to cheer for Alan oops Guess she forgot to mention that she's actually a good friend of Ash's opponent in the finals. But this leads us to a good point to switch to Alan's point of view who is preparing himself for the finals against Ash. Until the mysterious and beautiful Mala appears and not only congratulates him for advancing to the finals but also thinks that it's natural for Alan to be in the Carlos League since he wanted to become the strongest. Until Alan corrects her and states that he only wants to battle against Ash. But Malva still speaks really mysterious and therefore leaves Alan with not only an uncomfortable feeling but also more worries about Mayrin. And speaking of Mayrin, after she told Professor Sycamore that she will meet Alan after the finals, the professor now tells Ash that he has found out what Ash Greninja actually is. And it's called the Barn Phenomenon. It's something which only appears for a certain Pokemon and it also seems like not every trainer can unlock that potential power. And therefore Sycamore speculates that Greninja has been waiting for Ash and only Ash. Which means that their encounter was destiny. Now I guess it's time to switch to Alan's point of view again, right? Nope. Instead of that, we are seeing Shota analyzing previous battles of the Carlos League to improve himself. But after all he experienced against Ash, in the end, even the calm minded Shota cries out his frustration. But that doesn't last long since he then decides that there's no time for crying instead of that 
he just has to train more. That's the spirit, my boy. But not only Shota, but also Lissander is thinking about his future, because now it seems like that he and his evil organization are preparing everything for their master plan by secretly invading the Lumius gym and the prism tower. And after hearing that Mayron has made contact with Ash and the others, he then decides to visit Ash himself. And he tells our boy that he's really interested in Mega Evolution and that he wants Ash to tell him more about Ash Greninja after the finals, which Ash then um, kinda agrees. And while Lissander has visited Ash, meanwhile we're getting an actual interaction between Sycamore and Alan. And although both seem to be really happy to talk to each other again after such a long time, Alan then tells Sycamore why he left his mentor and that it was all for Sycamore's sake. After that, he also states that he can't return to him because there are other things he has to do, which is of course connected with the gathering of Mega Evolution Energy to save Chess P and Mayron. And speaking of her, after Mayron has parted ways with the XY girls, she then meets up with Lysander, who tells her that he will guarantee that in the next day everything will be okay and Chess P will wake up again, which makes Mayron cry tears of joy. And with Ash and Alan entering the final stage of the Colors League, the episode ends. Wow guys, so story-wise and dialogue-wise, a lot of things happen, so therefore let's get right into the rating. What can I say about the story? This story was really dialogue heavy and really deep. But to be honest, these events were things which we mostly already knew. We all knew about Mayron's Chespi being in danger, about Alan's motivation to enter the league, and even about Lysander invading the Prism Tower, because it was more than logical since it's the center of Lumio City and therefore it was the only option. But besides that, what really was executed really well in today's episode was the interaction between the characters, between Mayron and the XY gang and especially the XY girls, between Alan and Malva with all that mystery around it, between the XY gang and Sycamore and the more deeper explanation of Ash the Ninja, that really scary conversation between Ash and Lysander and I'm actually really concerned about that, and of course the reunion between mentor and student. Overall I can say that I loved all the interaction of today's episode, but since most of their goals and their dreams were already as clear as the sky itself, I have to cut off some points, which in the end leads to a 7 out of 10. What can I say about the focus? The first part was kinda misleading since there is no fighting at all in today's episode. Maybe the fighting is referring to the inner conflicts of each and every person in today's episode. Mayrin, Alan and even Shota who had to fight with his inner frustration and also Lysander who is fighting for his dream of a perfect world. It could be explained like that but if you haven't watched the episode including subs it would be really misleading. And then we have the gather all my passion part which in my opinion is really awesome. Alan is gathering all his passion to win for Mayrin, while Ash is gathering his passion for coming closer to becoming a Pokemon Master. And also we have Shota who stops crying and instead of that gathers everything to improve himself. And last but not least we have Lysander preparing and gathering Mega Evolution Energy to achieve his goal. Overall it was a really solid focus and I will give it a 7 out of 10 as well. And of course guys, last but not least, like always, the animation. The animation of today's episode was solid, solid animation which especially improved a lot during the emotional moments with good shadowing and detailed facial expressions. For example when Mayrin and Shota both cried and I really liked how they showed a lot of emotions. And also of course on the other side we have detailed and sometimes downright evil like animations with Lysander's smile while looking towards the prison tower during the night sky or Malva's smile while she talked to Alan. It was really this mysterious and also really evil atmosphere which this little instant of animation brought to us. I also really liked the expressions of both Sycamore and Alan after they finally have reunited for such a long time with an expression which was half joy and half distant and I kinda liked it. So overall really solid animation, day and night shadowing was also really well executed. I really liked it overall 9 out of 10 and in the end this episode scores a 7.66 out of 10. With the recommendation guys it was a really good episode to build up for the finals and for the match between Ash and Alan. I really liked it and although all the goals and all the dreams were already obvious and we already knew that, it was still a really enjoyable episode to watch and emotional and story wise it was really great. So guys I really hope you enjoyed my review just like always and see you guys in my comment section down below. Bye guys! Bye!